and smells like honey. <laughs> We've been monkeying around today with Jack Hanna and his amazing animals, as well as our very special guest, Loretta Swit, who does her part in trying to protect animals and wildlife. I'm here with some cute kids here, and we're, we're scratching and sniffing a book called Jungle Jack Hanna's Pocket Full of Bugs. Can you imagine? And tell me, what is this about? You, this was the honeycomb we were sniffing there, right? Uh -huh. So what do you think about this book? That's pretty cool. I think it's very nice because I like the way it smells. <laughs> you like the way the book smells. Well, there's, there's, what is this book? Oh, what is that? It's a scorpion. A scorpion? My goodness, scratch and sniff. Phew! That's what that bug does to protect himself when bad people come around. He starts spraying, spraying their spray. Oh, that's really, really cool. We're learning so much today about the animal kingdom, indeed. Jack, what is that thing behind you? He's <laughs> Yes. Yes. This is an emu, and there are three largest land birds, the ostrich, the emu, and the rhea. And they're it's, tough. They're and they're tough. tough. They one tough bird. Right. This is from Scotch Plains, and this is a neat bird. Their, their brain, even though you can't judge them by its brain, but their brains are very small. Uh -huh. And you think they're burying their head in the sand like the ostrich. Well, they're not doing that. They're kind of just staying cool when they do that. A lot of people think they bury their head, but they can kick. You see the feet there? Yeah. Those feet can literally tear you apart. An ostrich can kill you with one kick. Really? Yes. Where, does, where can you find that bird? Australia. Australia. In Australia. <laughs> Come ask your question. I have two questions for you. First of all, you keep referencing Scotch Plains. Is that Scotch Plains, New Jersey, that right, these animals right, are from? Right, right. Some of them okay. are. Okay. And then also, the question regarding the hedgehog. I know that I can walk into a, a pet store in New Jersey and buy one. Um, what kind of care do they require? Because it seems that, you know, I saw you with gloves on, and right. I never saw a sign outside the Right. You don't take that, it to bed like a teddy bear. Yeah, exactly. right, it depends on what type of hedgehog. You have African hedgehogs and European hedgehogs. I would always suggest wearing a glove if you're a small person because they have like a little prickly. They can very really prick you, as you see. But more than that, they're hard to take care of unless you know how to feed them. They're lighting. They're, they're, they like to come out at night. So you have to be aware of the nocturnal daytime, that type of thing. There is a beautiful bird back there called the macaw. Can right. you bring the macaw out? We'll just keep the emu here, yeah. We'll bring the macaw out. This oh, is the macaw parrot. Isn't that beautiful? Now, Loretta has worked with a lot of macaws on her shows, uh -huh. and they're also a very, uh, I say intelligent, a bird that mimics. Very bright. Uh, maybe I Hi. won't try. Is it talk? Hi. Hi. Hello, Kramer. Hi. Hello, Kramer. Kramer. Hi. Kramer. They live to be over 100 years old, though. That's why a lot of people go out and get a parrot like this in a pet shop or somewhere else, wherever. And, of course, we hope you get parrots that are born in, in this country because they smuggle these birds in. And these birds live to be 100. So when a person dies, uh, you know, you're sitting there with a parrot that nobody has a home for. Mm, and so you right. got, when you buy one, you got, you got to you gotta be years. alive for 80 years. That's right. You so got, can, can he talk? Oh, he, he talks. He says three bad oh, words. Oh. He says three bad words and two good words. So oh, we'll just beep it out. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the first one who slept with a bad word on this show. Come on. But their, their beak has like, we were talking about an hour earlier, there are pounds of pressure that will rip your finger off. You can, yes, Whoa. you can lose a finger. I worked with one on Incredible it's, Animals yeah. who started to get tested. We kept losing the scent. I was telling Jack, it was an amazing oh, story. Wow. And he just kind of warned me. And I looked for the trainer. I said, uh, give, yeah, and he said, just be firm with him, Loretta. <laughs> be firm with him. I'm going to lose my hand. Yeah. So how do you be firm? So the sun started to come out. And I just sort of jiggled him a little, and I said, listen to me now. We have a job to do. We have to do this take, and we're going to be great. And you, okay, George? All right, okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Loretta Swit. This is George. George goes, Hi! <laughs> Put every, the right on cue. Went Good yeah. show. Crazy. Crazy. You also have an iguana back there. I do? You do? Hi. I saw one. Oh, wow. Ooh. You have an iguana. Isn't that cool? Now, this the is color. a yeah, beautiful animal. Now, this is another animal, though. This wow. nice lady up here had a good question. Can that I touch him? Yeah, be, be careful that they, have, they, that they have in pet shops. Now, you got to remember, there are good pet shops and are bad, just like they're good and bad, everything. But a, an iguana is an animal that can carry, one of the kids can come up. Come on, you're who wants to touch the iguana? You look like an iguana. Come here. Like you have a green eye. I don't mean that. You're this, is, this is Aaron, <laughs> my executive assistant here. Yeah, it's a real way with animals. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Mean, what are these things on the side of them? Those are the pouches. What do they do with them? And, and you know something? Up, up here, there used to be a third eye. When in prehistoric times. In prehistoric right. times. Yeah. But, they, but they, carry, they can carry salmonella, so you must be very, very careful if you're going to do one of these. Plus, again, feeding and, and the proper lighting. 
a lot has to be read and learned about these animals. Yeah, so. I think a lot of people are going to be reading up on these animals after today's show right. to learn a lot more. I hope you're learning as we go along here. Coming up, a seven and a half foot albino Burmese python, which squeezes its prey to death before eating it. And it's coming on the stage with us. We're going to see if we survive this thing right after this.